Hey guys, welcome back. So today I am going to be doing my monthly favorites for you guys and I feel like I don't really have a lot. So I'm just gonna quickly jump in. And the first thing I'm gonna talk to you guys about is the Melt Cosmetics Rust Stack. And it is a really beautiful, warm brown palette. It is amazing. Um, I find myself using it now the same way I would use the Dark Matter stack, which is just like to kind of quickly fill in the crease or to do a smoky eye. Um, but I have been loving it. I wasn't sure at first how I felt about it, but I have been forcing myself to go for it and now it's very natural and like, I like it. So definitely, if you guys are considering getting this palette, I would definitely recommend it. Now, the next palette that I wanna talk about this one probably trumps all of my palettes right now. I'm not kidding. It is a Smashbox um, Photo Matte Eyeshadow Palette. That's what it looks like. It's very sturdy. I actually think I'm going to take this one on vacation with me. And as you guys can see, you have your really pretty warm browns. And then you have like your cool purples and grays. And then these really awesome um, skin tone shade and then a soft brown shade. Um, and it comes with a really nice brush and this massive mirror. I love this palette. These, these shadows are so pigmented. They're smooth. They're easy to work with. They're very blendable. Um, and they look great on anyone. And I love the fact that you have so much versatility in one palette. It's matte, so if you guys are wanting something that has some shimmer or that gives you like a glitter option, you're not going to find it in this palette, but it is amazing. Now, we're just gonna transition into some glitter. Um, I love the Touch and Soul, um, what is this, a metallic, no, me metalist liquid foil and glitter shadow duo. And I have a tutorial with this product specifically, um, and this is in the shade Margaret. And um, there's also pictures on my Instagram. It is so beautiful. It stays on. It does not move. Um, and the best way to avoid getting fallout is really using your fingers for this product. But honestly, it is amazing. So definitely check that out. Guys, can we talk about NARS's Hot Sand Illuminator? Really? It is beautiful and you could literally mix it with your foundations which is what i've been doing it's um just a really subtle glow it's a neutral um gold so it's not going to be like too yellow it's it's amazing um and i have been loving the hell out of this thing so it's gorgeous um i've actually mixed it in with my moisturizer a little bit and just kind of highlighted my legs i know i'm a little high maintenance but it is amazing. So definitely, definitely check it out. Another NARS product that um, I really love and that I have not been able to use because I'm a little deliciously dark right now, it's my NARS Sheer Glow in Barcelona. But what I have been doing is I've been mixing it with darker foundations or even with my CoverXX custom cover drops in, I think, N50. So it does work slightly but i'm just i feel like i've gotten to a point where i'm really dark and it's just not really working for me anymore so but i do love the formula it is glowy um i like to set it with my laura mercier translucent setting powder which is one of my favorites this month well this is probably going to be a favorite forever it is amazing it's the best um setting powder i've ever used i have it on today on top of a new foundation and um, honestly why I love it is because I'm very dry under my eyes and typically when I when I would set my um, under eye or whenever I would try to bake it just didn't fly like it just enhanced the dryness and the lines under my eyes this one does not do that um, this one legit sets and it just kind of blurs everything I feel it's just Honestly, it's the best powder I've ever tried, hands down. So, you need it. Honestly, you need it. A mascara that I've been loving, I have it on today, and just the mascara alone, I have nothing else with it, is the Marc Jacobs, um, what is this? Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. It is awesome. Like, look at these lashes. 
it is so good the brush i like this kind of brush it's like kind of fat brush um the bristles are nicely packed i feel like this really applies a product evenly and it builds up your lashes like nothing else so definitely look at this i hate that i say definitely so much anyway um I have been loving the beauty blenders all over again. Mine are dirty, don't judge. Um, I have been using brushes for my foundation and I have put those aside. Not because they're bad, they are really great tools, but I like coverage and I feel like I get the best coverage using a brush. So I, a favorite, the new Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. Um, I have been using this. I, I started off with samples from Sephora just to kind of see if this was something that I wanted to invest in. And I love the foundation, but with a sponge, I'm sorry, with a brush, it's too much coverage for me. Like it looks really caked on. Um, so I started trying it with the Beauty Blender and voila, it's perfect. Like it's the best way to apply this um, foundation because you do need something that's going to shear it out a little bit and I like it so two products that I'm obsessed with my beauty blenders and the urban decay all-nighter foundation I just so you guys know I had sampled the 7.75 and I even have a sample of the 8.0 because we're going to Mexico and I'm gonna get dark er <laughs> So um, the one I actually ordered was a 7.5 because I feel like this will be a good shade for me once my tan starts to wear off and clearly I'm not gonna travel with this jumble size product. Smashbox, again, you're gonna see a lot of Smashbox because literally they have stepped their game up and I love the products. So I have the Smashbox Photo Finish Priming Water. Look at that. I love this stuff. I use it today. I use it every day. Um, I spray quite a bit of it, so it always surprises me to see that I, I am not going through it as fast as I thought. Um, I wanted to get this in the mini so I could take it with me on vacation, but unfortunately they are sold out on their website, and I like to buy directly from their website. So I'm going to have to go to Mexico without my priming water. <laughs> okay, I'm over it. Not really, but we gotta move past it. The Naked Skin One and Done. This thing is, I mean, you guys can see that I've kind of gone through quite a bit of it. I wear the shade Medium. I love this stuff because it's quick, it's easy on days where I'm not working and I don't want to wear a lot of makeup or I don't want to, or even on days where I, I just want the minimal, it, it's what I use. It has a built-in primer in it, so you can definitely use it under a regular foundation to build up the coverage um, or even just to kind of use it as a primer if you don't have a primer for whatever reason. But honestly, it is a great product. It has amazing coverage. Um, the color range is pretty basic. You have light, light medium, medium, medium tan, I think, and then dark. So I wish that they would come out with more shades because I feel like they could do a better job in that sense. But the product itself is amazing. Another Smashbox product, and you guys, I'm sure you're going to be like, duh. Um, the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Waterproof Concealer. Um, I have the shade Medium. I love this concealer. You guys know that um, for a minute I was literally on this NARS um, co creamy concealer kick. And it's good. I still like it. But there's something about this formula that's very hydrating. I have it on today. Um, it's very hydrating. It feels very cooling and silky on the skin i know I, I keep telling you guys that the texture is so unique um because it is and it blends out like a dream it's probably my most favorite concealer right now so definitely check that out i know we don't have them at sephora yet but they'll be in and you won't regret it it is amazing um the bobby brown eye opening mascara is another mascara that i have been obsessed with um i told you guys that i was surprised that i liked it so much because typically i'm not a fan of the bobby brown um mascaras but this one gives me so much 
thickness and so much um, length and it's super black again it's one of those fat brushes so I've come to realize that I like a big brush so that's what it looks like and there's something about these um, brush hairs that I like I like when they're not they're definitely not um, rubber I hate rubber ones but this this is amazing so Glosses, I have been into this probably like a few weeks now. Um, I would say the month. Um, but there's two that I always go to for summer. And they're both by Makeup Forever. And I really love like a corally, juicy lip for summer. That's my thing. So the first one is 206. And this is just a really opaque um, candy coral. And then, but it has more of a pink. It's not so orange, it's more pink. And then 203P. This one has a little bit of sparkle in it. And it's a gold sparkle, but it's sheerer and softer. So if you're wanting something that gives you like a punch of color, I would say to go with this one. And if you're wanting something that's a little bit subtle and easier to wear, then definitely go with the lighter shade. But they're awesome glosses. They're thicker. Um, the wand is very unique. It really just applies a product evenly on the lip and it picks up a nice amount of product so you don't have to constantly dip into your product. So I like it. A melted matte liquid lipstick. It's happening. I have a tutorial on it. I love it. It's the perfect bright pink and um, these things stay on like nothing else. Like, no, I shouldn't say that because there are other products that are just as amazing. This one is a little bit drier, I warn you, um, but it stays on. Like you could literally eat with it and it's not going anywhere. So love this one a lot. This one may seem a little weird, but I thought the idea was just freaking genius. The Sephora sharpener. Okay, how many times have you not been at your makeup area and you've been putting on your makeup and then you're like, I'm gonna put on a liner? Or like what happened to me the other day, I'm gonna use this jumble stick. I did not have a sharpener that actually fit that and I have a dual ended sharpener on my vanity, but I needed something bigger. When I saw this at Sephora, I thought it was amazing and genius. So I don't know if you guys can see, there's like a hole for every size. So you have this really large pencil here that fits my finger. You have something that's a little bit um, smaller and then you have, really it's a huge one and then four pretty good, I think like standard size um, sharpeners. But it's, you have all of your sharpeners in one, like there it is. I'm like, I wish I would've thought of that. I could have been banking off of this idea, but it, honestly, I almost feel like, let me just get rid of all of my sharpeners because I have everything I need in one. So kudos to you, Sephora, kudos to you. A highlighter that is out now and that I'm surprised isn't getting as much love as some of the other ones is the Glow Subteal um, highlighters by Lancome. So they look like this. You twist the cap off and there it is. Mine is in Glowing Lights 06. And I love this highlighter. Um, it's so smooth. It's like that bouncy um, texture, but it just looks very natural. You still have a highlight. You can still see it. It's just not as intense as like, no, mine doesn't even look intense. I'm gonna take a little bit of this and just show you what I'm talking about. But I feel like People really want that like intense highlight and, and because this isn't necessarily that, but again, it still shows up and it still looks really beautiful. It's overlooked. Um, something that I would like to see changed in this product is the packaging. I prefer either for it to have like a lid that you pop open and it's, it's like this instead of having like to twist it. I don't know why. I don't, and then the other thing is like, I worry about losing my cap because I'm clumsy and I lose things all the time. Um, so other than that, but I, the product itself is beautiful and they have a lot of shades. So I really encourage you guys to go look at them. I know Sephora has them. You can play with them and swatch them, but honestly, they're beautiful. And for those of you that maybe are older 
and don't want like an Anastasia glow or don't want like a glittery, you know, over the top highlighter, I would tell you that this is the best highlighter for you. Um, and it's going to give you that glow without looking like you have tons of glitter on your face or a really intense highlight. So definitely love this. I have some shampoos I'm going to mention. Um, these are the travel size because I have them here since I'm packing for my trip. And I used the full size that I have in my shower yesterday. I washed my hair last night and it just makes my hair look so um, silky and it feels really soft and it looks so shiny. The only thing is I'm not a fan of clean hair. Like first day hair is not my thing. Today it doesn't look bad. But I typically just like a little bit more volume and grip because you guys know I have a little baby hair. But I'm talking about the Caviar Anti-Aging Replenishing Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner. These are the little travel sizes. I'm taking these on vacation. They are amazing. They really hydrate. My hair, I told you guys a trillion times, has been very dry. Um, and this really does do a job at making my hair and my split ends look really smooth and tamed and healthy so love that shampoo i warn you guys it is expensive but totally worth the money because you won't be using so much shampoo shampoo all right we have two more things sephora lavender mask for your feet your feet um i know it's foot guys i know this mask is amazing i have been working really really long days like long days and i've been standing a lot so i like to treat myself to one of these guys because i feel like i'm beating my feet up so i want to you know give them a nice little treat so this hydrates and it's really cooling when you first put it on so when i first get home I'll take my shoes off, my socks off, whatever. And then you'll clean your feet. You want clean feet. And then just go ahead and put them in. Um, they're little plastic socks. If you're familiar with their hand masks, which I'm a fan of also, you will know that that's exactly what you're getting. So I don't know if you guys can see it there, but those are the instructions. It's just a little plastic sock. You put it in. There's a little tab that has a sticky pad on it. So it basically locks the sock in its place. And I leave it on for as long as I want to like there, it gets to a point where I'm like okay I need to get this off but it is amazing it's very hydrating it's refreshing and it feels really good after a long day so nice very nice the last three well really there's four but one of them I left at work because I wanted it to get scribed because I wore it the other day but anyway I'm talking to you guys about the Smashbox Liquid Lipsticks. These guys. I have four. Like I said, I have Shocking. I think it's called Shocking Pink. Um, it's just a really pretty bright, like, berry pink. Um, and then I have on Bows today, which is limited edition. And I know you can still get it on their website at Sephora. We've been sold out. And we'll get it in and we'll sell out again. It's like I said, what I have on, it's a beautiful red. And this formula is very hydrating. It stays on. I love the applicator. Let me show you the applicator. Um, but to show how much I love them, I have a tutorial up um, now. I think it's called Bang Bang. But it's for the lipstick, Bang Bang. That's it. Um, this wand picks up product in the center so that way when you apply it to your lip it starts to apply the product and then to the center and then you just blend it out i love the tip because it really allows you to get into you know the cupid's bow and i have pointier lips you couldn't tell by today because i rounded them out a little bit but my um, cupid's bow is actually very pointed so this really helps me get the perfect shape the rounder ones like um some of the other brands that have like that want rounder doe foot, they automatically just round my lip off, which is fine. Um, but if I wanted to stick to my natural shape, I like more of a pointy, pointed tip. Um, the other one I have is Baja Bound. 
and I wore this in a video also. I don't remember which one I had it on, but if you guys want to see pictures of these guys, just go on my Instagram. Um, they're probably the more recent pictures, but I really love this formula. I'm sad to say that a lot of the other shades that I wanted are sold out and have not been restocked, but the gray one that they have, I just received notification that it is up, and that's actually one of the ones that I want, but I feel like I want to wait until the other ones are available. Let's get on it, Smashbox. I want my liquid lipsticks. So that's all I have for you guys today. Um, I think it was pretty short video, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. And don't forget to like this video. Um, go ahead and look at my other videos. I do have a contest going on now. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.